So a friend sent me this screenshot of a Neil deGrasse Tyson tweet. It says, mind-blowing yet today? How about the 13 letters of 11 plus 2, when rearranged, also spells 12 plus 1? So I thought that's kind of cool, you know, but let's get a little creative with this. We're, eventually we're going to lose the word plus, but it's important because it's 13 letters. And, of course, 11 plus 2 is 13, and 12 plus 1 is 13, and... Those words spelled out 11 plus 2 is an anagram of the words 12 plus 1. But I figured let's get a little creative here. Instead of 11 plus 2, let's combine them and make it 11 2 or 112. Add that to 121. Remember it was 12 plus 1. Combine those. 12 and 1 makes 121. So we got... 112 plus 121 equals 233, which is the 13th Fibonacci number. Now, of course, 0 is a Fibonacci number, so some people would argue that 233 might not be quite what I said there. But if you imagine 0 is the starting point, yes, 0 is a Fibonacci number, but if you imagine that 0 is the starting point, going forward, so like looking at the 13 steps of the pyramid, the ground level, imagine that's zero. First level would be one, next level would be one, next level after that would be two, and so on. Or if you have a 13 step ladder, the ground level would be zero. Then your Fibonacci number next would be one, and then one, and then two, and then three, and so on. So I think that's why you hear people saying that 233 is the 13th Fibonacci number. Of course, we can get that 233. Remember, we added 112 plus 121. 112 is like the 11 and 2. The 121 is like the 12 and 1. Add those together, 233. And if we use the... Frank Baconis Gematria Cipher in all caps 11 2 equals 233, just like the words 12 1. And for that cipher, for, for that particular value, you have to use all caps. And I guess it's kind of appropriate. We're looking at the pyramid with without the cap stone. Right, we climbed the 13 steps. But there's something else kind of fun that I don't think I mentioned yet. If you use English ordinal gematria, the simple cipher, English ordinal, and just type out those words 11, 2, that equals 121. And if you think of 11 with a little 2 next to it, you can think of 11 squared, or 11 times itself equals 121. So, if, you know, of course you see the 11 and the 2, and then the words 11, 2 equals 121, just like 11 squared equals 121. 11, 2, and 12, 1. And it doesn't matter what cipher we're looking at. Those words, 11, 2... Or a match in all ciphers with the words 12, 1. There's probably a lot more to say about this, but I wanted to keep this simple. 